Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to do a targeted hue shift using some basic techniques. So this is before we had some footage that we shot a prop that's casting some bounce lighting onto our character, but I want it to be more like an orange lantern type of color. And this is kind of uh, just a quick shift of, of color that we can do here. Now, we don't wanna shift the colors of everything. We really just wanna target one set of colors and shift it into another color channel. So the technique is actually very, very simple. It's actually just using the copy node, but we have to actually remember the principles of the color channels first and why this technique actually works. So I'm gonna explain that right now. So basically we have an image that's made up of red, green, and blue, which most of you guys already know. So if I wanna make this a little bit more orange, orange is a combination of red and a little bit of green. So essentially, what we want to do is take some of the red channel, which we can see here, compared to the green, which is darker in this area. And we want to bring some of this part of the red channel into the green channel. So we're just mixing the channels together a little bit. So why this works is, is you know, basically like this. So we have red and green, which makes yellow, but we don't want yellow, we want orange. So we want red and a little bit of green. So we can take down the green and we get orange. So basically what we want to do is actually mix in a little bit of the red channel into the green channel, but not completely because we don't want to get yellow like I just said. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like. It's pretty straightforward. If I set this back to zero, if I copy the red channel into the green channel, again, the red channel looks like this, the green channel looks like this, it's darker. So I know that it's going to get hit in the right places. We're getting the color into the right places. So if I set this to one, you see that we're getting the result that we expected. It's kind of a yellowish green. Uh, it's not exactly you know perfectly yellow, but it's pretty much what we're expecting here. So what you can do is red to green, and then I just shift this down a tiny bit, and we're gonna start to get something that looks like orange. So if I disable, we have something that's reddish, and now we have something that is orange. And you know we can do some enhancement after that, where we can you know key the highlights and things like that to make this look more metallic. Uh, those are things that are unrelated, but the technique here of just hue shifting by mixing the channels is a really powerful and simple technique. So, you know, it's good to remember that you know, the color channels are just a ratio of colors. So if we have 100% white, remember that's going to be 1, 1, 1 in all the color channels. And if we have some different color, it's a different ratio of colors. And so another thing to remember in the future is if you're desaturating, what you're actually doing is just bringing the color channels closer together. So if we're desaturating, what's happening is it's finding a luminance value and kind of evening them out together. So the color channels become the same when you're desaturating to zero. So if I take a colorful image, desaturate it to zero, red, green, and blue are all equal. So it's doing the same thing. It's just making the ratio equal. But if we play around with that ratio by dissolving or mixing the color channels together, which is what this copy node is doing, it's not the same as a hue shift. A hue shift is gonna shift all the colors around. It's not exactly the same thing. So this is a really good way to get very smooth gradients and that color shift without having like weird targeted blobs. So there's many other ways to do this. This is not like a one trick kind of thing on how you can do a color correction. There are many different ways to do targeted color corrections and these are some of them. We have hue correction, which is probably the most common. We have a HSV tool, which you can target different range, kind of similar to resolve. And you can also do a keyer targeting, you know, like a red keyer, for example. So those would be other ways to do it. But uh, most people don't know about the copy technique. It's pretty good to just mix the channels around and get a good result. So uh, I do think the result for this is actually sometimes better than using these other tools. For example, if I do a hue shift, uh, we could, you know, bring up the green in the red areas. So we go to the green and bring up in the red areas. And you can see that some of the edges are not uh, perfect. So we can see that fall off is not 100%. Uh, getting exactly what we want and you can try to mess with this and play around with it but sometimes you're not getting the perfect blend and the same with the hsv tool you can run into similar issues where it's not a perfect blend you're getting a harsh mat uh, even same with the keyer node this one's probably a little bit better but uh, similar results so uh, that's about it like i said and leave a like if you like this video